Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Many and True Nerd, and this is Hitman Blood Money. No, oh, God, those two people are twins. Why are they two identical? That, that is a terrifying face. Um, this is Hitman Blood Money, no kill. And uh, this is Amendment 25. Great mission where you actually get to go inside the White House. Due credit for a, a game to be ballsy enough to basically uh, stage someone launching a military, uh, basically, you can, you, you can basically act out a military assault on the White House during this mission. So, uh, due credit for a game ballsy enough to do that. That, uh, that takes some guts these days. So anyway, uh, this person goes for a smoke. You want to place an item. Place your silver baller in the suitcase. That's an interesting way of placing things, but, uh, but apparently it works. She has a quick cigarette and then... Uh, Picks up the suitcase. Again, interesting way of picking things up, but uh, well done. And in the meantime, let's just head inside. And I'm just going to walk straight through. Yep, I'm fine, thank you. There are some terrifying facial expressions going on here. That is just... Yeah. That woman's going to put her, uh, her suitcase on. We're going to have to ask you a few questions. There's been some kind of mistake. So there we are. The suitcase with the gun in it has been intercepted by security, as we might expect, and she is being taken in for questioning. Uh, as you might expect, um, as you might expect, obviously, if you try and take that suitcase in, no one takes you for questioning. They just shoot you on sight. Anyway, let's uh, head into the bathroom. So just wait here, and there we are. Tour guide. Don't have my gun at the minute, so I do actually have to sedate him. Rather than, uh, rather than knocking him unconscious as I normally would do with Human Shield. Now this might seem incredibly insecure, uh, but interestingly no one but him ever comes into this bathroom, like literally ever. So he's absolutely fine. So that done, you can now go on your merry way. Head outside, and your other sedative on this chap over here. Now just drag him behind those bushes, and that big metal thing. Is that air conditioning unit? I don't know, I think it might be an air conditioning unit. And then get to the US Marine outfit. Take the gun out the way. Uh, you don't actually need it. I'm just going to leave it and then I'm just going to drop it. We've used up both our sedatives. So that's a problem, but don't worry because we're about to get something we need straight back again. Head through here. Into this room. Mind the other US Marines, they will uh, they'll get suspicious of you sooner or later. Grab the main building key card. And steal the videotape. Just pick up the tourist suitcase, move it slightly around the corner, set it down, and then retrieve your silver baller and pop it straight away. So that done, you've got everything you need to begin the level at least. So with that head straight on and through this way dressed as a US Marine you should be alright as long as you keep moving I think if you hang out in front of these guys they'll figure out what's going on pretty darn quickly but generally just uh, keep moving nice and slowly and steadily no one minds you've got the key card which you can use you can do that in full sight of everyone no one actually uh, massively objects to that and because obviously you've got the videotape uh, you can walk straight past the security cameras that are in these uh, that are in these corridor. I think there's one up there. That, there we go. Doesn't matter. We've got the security tape. And with that, we make it to the central building. So here comes the vice president and uh, his wife, who's cheating on him with, uh, with a secret service agent. And uh, she basically tells him to go and walk the dog so that she can have her affair in peace. So yeah, another character with a small annoying yappy dog. Okay, I've been really unlucky with timings because he's got multiple people with him at the moment. So I'm going to leave Daniel Morris just for the second. Not least as the moment he's going downstairs, there's two people in the room. And that flipping cutscene of his wife having an affair is filling up a third of the screen too. Instead, I'm going to head on my way and get one other thing that I need. Wait here just outside the West Wing for the door to open. Someone will be out for a cigarette pretty soon. Now there's two people that can come out of that door. There's a janitor and there is a secret service agent. Both of them give you West Wing key cards. But the janitor is in some ways the better because the janitor is in fact uh, the guy who's got access to literally everything. Get out of the way, stupid. Oh, 
goodness sake. 47, I like to think when you see that, it's not actually happening, it's 47's imagination. 47's just bored of waiting for the perfect time to strike in the rain, so he's amusing himself by kind of imagining a really smutty novel or something. Oh, here he comes. I think we've got a janitor this time, which is good. When the janitor appears, move fairly quickly, because potentially, very soon afterwards, there's going to be someone else. So, West Wing keycard, suit janitor. Now get inside nice and quick, because there's someone else that you'll need to knock out. This guy. So he also goes outside. And he also gets knocked out. You don't want his, uh, you don't want his suit. You totally want your janitor's suit. It's way better. So just head through and around, don't worry too much, as the janitor you're pretty much fine to go wherever you want. And then just loop round and back outside. Okay, so they've reset, uh, as you can see um, the vice president's gone through his full behaviour cycle. Uh, they're now back to the main building where his wife's going to go upstairs to uh, have some snoggings with the uh, secret service agent that uh, she likes. And this guy's going to go walk his dog again. I've got an opening here. I just need to get lucky on the shove. Wait for that guy to pass. Jeez. One, did I get away with it? Two, is he actually dead? Yes! Okay, we got it that time. I thought that guy had seen me, but I've gone out of red, so I think I'm okay. Okay, good. Yeah, you've just basically got to give him a good shove down the stairs. Stairs can be extremely temperamental. You can be very lucky or unlucky sometimes. So, yeah, it's pretty much, to my mind, it's pretty much a crapshoot whether or not you get lucky with that stair push working or not. Okay, because one, whether or not you get seen seems to be completely flipping random. And uh, when you do get seen, even if you uh, even if you don't get seen, whether or not the shove actually kills him is pretty random, so it, it, it's kind of luck-based, really. Next, Mark Pichesi the third. You don't want to kill me, 47. I'm just like you. We Our did both choose to disguise ourselves as janitors, that's correct. Our similarities so there's a couple of ways of We're dealing with Pichesi as an accident. You we'll do whichever one do kind of... Uh, becomes clearest because depending on how fast you can chase him and how lucky you get with whether he gets obstructed or you get obstructed, uh, or whether you get obstructed, that makes a difference to which one can actually be done. Yeah, if you don't get through that door before it closes, that normally means you're too far behind to do much about him. Uh, but never mind, we'll keep going, we'll see if he gets... No, he's pretty far ahead. Sometimes you get stuck on other people running around, uh, at which point you're doing alright, but in this particular occasion, no, we didn't do great. Luckily, there's a way around all of this. Just head outside onto the lawn and then climb up. Do that, and you'll officially have you'll beat him to his uh, you'll beat him to his own uh, you'll beat him to his this spot he actually wants to be in, which is useful. And just hide there. I should add, incidentally, I believe this technique was invented by a YouTuber called Bursting Glass. He's done some really good stuff. So. There we go. All right, we got him down pretty easily that time. Okay, so we've got him, and then we immediately dropped him. And that means he doesn't have a weapon, which means he goes into surrender mode. Lovely for me, except for one small problem. Apologies for the change of uniform, by the way. I had a console crash. Um, everything that you saw before has happened just the same way. Uh, so now he is cowering on the roof, but he is unarmed, and he won't follow us any further. That's a problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give him a gun, but not his original gun, which was very good. Instead, I'm going to give him this pistol, which is totally rubbish. The reason I'm going to do that is because I want him to follow me. And now we just wait for him to come round here and join me at the top of the stairs. I'll go round through the building. No one will ever get suspicious of him, incidentally, for some reason. I mean, possibly he's right that he is the superior assassin on those grounds. This is intriguing. 
he's just hanging out around there. This could be a really good way of getting him if it's true. I'm gonna go for it. And now aim up and drop body and hope. Yes! I don't care. I don't care that everyone is shooting at me. Leave me the hell alone, all of you. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That was an accident. That was deemed an accident. Oh, no. You can't kill me now. You can't kill me now. You can't kill me now. It would be a travesty. Come on. Just, just, just go hmm at me. Go hmm at me. Go... Yes. Yes. Oh my god, this took four and a half hours. Oh. Oh, you better be giving me the result I'm expecting. Oh. Okay. I don't I don't even care anymore. That that is that strategy does matter. I should also clarify, um, in case it didn't end up in a bit that I actually put in. One, that took me like 20 attempts. Um, two, uh, that method is thanks to a YouTuber. I believe it was innovated by a YouTuber called Bursting Glass. Um, he does some really interesting, or he or she actually, he, uh, they don't commentate, so I don't know their gender. Um, he or she does, uh, some really good Hitman, uh, runs, really good stuff. Makes me look terrible at this game, so, uh, there you go. I mean, they do that without the covers blown and the witnesses. Oh, but I don't care, um, because this is four and a half hours, four and a half hours um, that that took, but no kills, two accidents, it's not Silent Assassin, it's Hired Killer, I don't, oh god, my brain, never try and do that, I'm telling you, just don't even bother, I think he's actually trying to point me out to the guard, which is kind of ridiculous, yeah, no one believes him, yeah, no one should believe him, he's an assassin, come on, pick up the gun, Anyone got a gun? Anyone want to wake this guy up so we can try again? Thai Secret Service has surrendered to a guy who doesn't have a gun. Though, they are enjoying a bit of occasional pointing. I need to take this body somewhere where someone will wake it up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Would you mind waking him up, please? Alright, fine. If you're going to make me do it this way, I will do it this way. Out of the way, guys. Out of the way, please. Well, oh, this is interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Hitman Blood Money. No kill. Ballet edition. No, no. <laughs> Quickly. Judder away, 47. Judder away. You can do it, 47. No. No. Oh, God, his hand. What's happened to his arms? His arms are inside themselves. The toolbox from the workman is uh, obviously useful for laying bombs that you want to uh, leave out in public, which is always useful. Blowing up the president works nicely in that, uh, works well within that remit. Oops. And two for one. Did I get both of them? There you go, look at that, look at that. When the vice president wanders over to the, uh, when the vice president wanders over to the, uh, wanders over to the window, you can, uh, if you've got a bomb hidden in a tool case, so he doesn't see what it is, and you put that down by the window, Mark Pichesi can be wandering on one side of the window at the exact same time as the president, or sorry, the vice president is on the other side, and you can take both of them out with a single bomb. So there's the vice president, and there's Pichesi. Both killed with a single mine. So, if you want to, if you want to take explosives to their limit, you can. Uh, you can actually, yeah, you can take out both targets in this mission. A single mine. Lovely. Showering. I'm showering, and the water's all over me. I also just want to express my love for this guy, who never stops showering and sings a song all about showering. Use your toolbox correctly, and uh, obviously, in the normal cutscene, Mark Parchesi the third in a kind of a 
slightly dickish but slightly badass way does detonate a mine behind you, knocking you off your feet just as you're about to uh, just as you're about to kill him. And just wait for it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. <sighs> Take my time. Make sure to warm up properly. Never, never run. Never run anywhere. You might miss something important. Terrible to miss something important. Oh dear. Oh, did you explode? Oh, that's a shame. That's a terrible shame. And uh, incidentally, if you're wondering, and this is like I think something a few people miss because it's kind of uh, it's relatively well uh, hidden out of the way. Um, if you, when you come out of the uh, the Oval Office, if you turn left down here, there's a bathroom that has a dead person in it that you don't kill. Uh, and yeah, basically uh, that's uh, that's where Parchesi got his. Uh, that's where Pachesi got his janitor's uniform. That was a janitor he killed to get the janitor's uniform. So, I think that's cool. I think that's pretty cool. Um, one more thing I want to bring attention to in this very explosive themed... Uh, this very explosive themed... Uh, little extra bit. The Vice President's dog... Is explosion proof. Like, that dog's alive. Look at him. He's still just happily panting away. Not a care in the world. It killed It killed him. It killed him. Oh, that's a really unfortunate juxtaposition. The vice president just dead in the rain while his wife makes out with one of his security guards. Oh, that's just unfortunate. So let's just prove this dog is indeed completely bomb proof. Drop a second bomb on him. And detonate that one too. The dog's fine. The dog lives. This dog has... I don't know why they did it. But this dog has a crazy amount of health. You can also shoot him repeatedly. He can die. If you put enough bullets in him, he'll die. But for whatever reason, he basically he can't be blown up. And yeah, for whatever reason, he'll take like three or four bullets from an M14 to... Uh, to take care of. So, yeah. Interesting dog. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Amendment 25, not silent assassin, but uh, all accidents. That's a nightmare. That is a real nightmare to do. That's uh, that's incredibly difficult. And, uh, yeah, a very explosive themed extra bit. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do with explosives in, uh, a lot of fun stuff you can do with explosives in Amendment 25. Next week... Next week on Hitman Blood Money, I'm, I'm almost terrified to say this, it's the end, and it's Requiem, and Requiem can be done, all accidents, it is possible, it's pretty much impossible, but it can be done, and I'm going to try and do it, I have no idea how long that's going to take, that's probably going to take a very, very long amount of time to do, but hey, we're going to attempt it, we're going to attempt it, um, if I, if this doesn't come out next week, it's probably because it's taken me longer than a week. It's taken me more than one full session of recording to, uh, to figure out how to do this because it is not easy. It is not easy at all. But, uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. I've been John. This has been Many True Nerd. And this has been Hitman, Blood Money, No Kill, and other stuff. Thank you very much, and goodbye.